I have just come back from a coronavirus test center. In the test, they use a swab to take samples from the back of your throat and then use the same swab into your nose. But when the nurse started to put the swab into my nose, I started to feel really bad and try to pull my head backwards, but she said, stand still and don't pull back. In a nutshell, it is a very uncomfortable experience that it made my eyes literally water. I've done this test before by myself without putting the swab that deep into my nose and the test was conclusive. I don't see any point in having the swab that deep in somebody's nose. During the test, I was not very concerned about the short discomfort but rather the damage that it could cause to my brain. So I started to do my own research. In all social media platforms, there are posts saying that nasal swab could damage the blood-brain barrier that made me very concerned. Reading further, I came across three articles from BBC, Reuters, and USA Today, which all debunked the claims on the social medias. The truth is that there is no area in the nasal cavity that the brain could be accessed directly through the nose. This is because olfactory bulb and olfactory nerves are separated by a bone called crib reform plate. Hence, in order to access the brain, one must first drill into this bone and then only the swab could reach the brain. So what is this blood-brain barrier and where is it located? As the name suggests, it is actually the barrier between the blood vessels and the brain. All the blood vessels in our body are lined with endothelial cells and gaps to let molecules to enter to different parts of the body. But the endothelial cells in our brain's blood vessels are more closely packed together and therefore only allowing few molecules to enter, such as water, oxygen, caffeine, alcohol, glucose, to name a few. The good news is that it prevents harmful substances to enter to the brain but at the same time, it prevents most of the drugs to pass this barrier. This is one of the main reasons why it is so difficult to treat diseases such as Parkinson and Alzheimer's with drugs. But it has nothing to do with the nasal cavity. So the saw can't reach the brain without drilling a hole into a bone. But could it damage the olfactory nerves that are located in the nasal cavity? By the way, olfactory nerves are responsible for the sense of smell. The good news is that the olfactory nerves can regenerate, but the bad news is that they don't always find their ways back to the brain as they have to pass through tiny holes in the bone. However, as stated in the USA Today's website, olfactory epithelium is ordinary damage by airborne pollutants, daily allergens, and because of the presence of stem cells, they are able to regenerate approximately every few weeks. I cannot finish this video without mentioning about this paper, which is a medical paper and is written by some doctors. And it says that one of the patients had some problems after doing the nasal swab testing. As you can see here, there are some pictures which shows that the fluid surrounding the brain was leaked through into the nasal cavity. So these are the pictures from 2017 and it shows already a defect. So if you look at the conclusions, it says, we therefore theorize that the swab itself did not result in a violation of the bony skull base, but rather the invasive test caused trauma to the patient's pre-existing encephalocele. Encephalocele means the liquid surrounding the brain is not properly sealed. So that swab, because it's quite invasive and can go very deep, caused trauma and it was not directly linked to the problem arised after the test. The only reason I'm showing this paper is to make more people aware so that they would be more careful during this test. In a nutshell, it is not anatomically possible to damage the brain using a swab. And also, 
olfactory nerves would regenerate in case they get damaged. Please write in the comments if my research convinced you. I hope this video was useful. If it was, please don't forget to watch my other videos on my left and to subscribe to support my channel. I hope to see you in my next video. Bye-bye.